Hi, this is Greg again. <clears throat> I've got a new project that I've been uh, working on, actually a series of projects here. I've, I happen to uh, come upon some of these old wooden boxes. Uh, they're really nothing special. They're just these real lightweight, uh, fairly cheap little boxes that you could find probably at any, uh, any thrift shop. And uh, I've been uh, covering them, uh, up upholstering them, I guess, in some way. And uh, let me show you one that I've already done here. I've got a box here. This is a, a fairly small one. I didn't do any covering on the back. But all I'm basically doing is I'm uh, cutting out my paper that I want to use for cover. I do have a, a paper cutter here that seems to help a lot. And uh, I glue everything down. I do have a uh, cover here that has glass built into it. By this cover actually had a hinge on it so that the cover opened like this, but I took the hinge off because I want to use these in a little different manner. So I've got my box covered, which is what I'm going to do with this one. I use um, all kinds of papers. I've got some old dictionary pages from a vintage uh, dictionary. I also have some old maps that I really like, and I'm going to, uh, in fact, that's what I'm going to use with this box. I'm going to do some measuring, cut it on my paper cutter, glue it down. By the way, with this particular project, I'm using Yes Glue. It seems to work uh, really well. It kind of absorbs into the wood and then absorbs into the paper. Uh, it's acid-free. It says it's perfect for scrapbooks, but it works really well on this particular project also. I also have some paper with some great little diagrams on them that I've been cutting apart. I got some of uh, these old books at a sale somewhere. So I've been cutting this kind of stuff apart also to uh, reupholster my boxes. So this is one that I already showed you that's already done, ready to go. Uh, I do have another one over here. Let me find this one. This one is a little bit larger. I don't have a top for this particular one. I do have one here that I've covered with a um, map that uh, is pretty cool. And it already has a glass already built into it. I've got my backing that's ready to go. Of course there's nothing in the boxes yet that's still to come, but this is kind of the general idea as to where it's going to look. There's some rough edges around the uh, sides here. I'm going to take some sandpaper and really sand this down and it'll probably give it a much more aged look also. So anyway, this is step one of getting started on uh, some of my new box projects. Well, <clears throat> I have a feeling, I think I know where I'm going with this box. Um, let me show you what I've done so far. This is... Uh, the backing for my box. I've got a collection of old doll heads. Uh, I've got some uh, great hardware pieces. There's a there's a store here in the Portland area called the Rebuilding Center that sells all kinds of uh, hardware for fairly cheap. So I've got a lot of this kind of stuff. I've got another uh, little uh, motor here that I'm going to use. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use it in this piece. I think I've got uh, gone as far as I can with this particular piece. And I've got some ball bearings. I've got a bag of ball bearings. They're fairly heavy, but they, uh, they work on this piece okay because I anchor them with uh, some little snaps. I use the snap. I put my uh, glue inside the snap and then put the ball bearing inside the snap and then glue it down so it, it, it adheres really well to, the, uh, to my map backing. And again, I use uh, my 100% silicone for doing this kind of gluing. Uh, it holds really well. So, this piece, uh, at this point, the box is going to go on top like this. And I also have some of my anatomy cutouts that I'm going to use again. I love my anatomy cutouts. I've got some old anatomy books uh, that I've collected. I'm going to put a couple, uh, couple uh, anatomy heads in this point. I've got a little chocolate label that I'm going to put up here on the top. And I might add one other thing down in here on the inside. But this is uh, pretty much coming to an end. I'm pretty much going to start gluing this together. I have another box here where I've done my uh, wrapping effect. Literally wrapped the box like it's uh, some kind of a gift. Um, <clears throat> once I've gotten everything glued down, I do take a little bit of sandpaper and I sand 
all around the edges. It kind of gives it a nice, uh, kind of a more of an aged look. I do have a, an electric rotary sander, but that thing is too powerful, so I actually do uh, some hand sanding on this particular, uh, these smaller pieces. I'm also going to use some hardware. I've got a, <clears throat> an old hardware piece here that I'm going to put inside this box. I've got um, <clears throat> a round magnifying glass with uh, an old vintage bottle pop cap. Drink snappy makes you happy. I think this is going to be glued inside in this manner. And then I've also got a lid from an old canning jar that I'm going to put over the top uh, in this fashion. I've got a board, a regular old pine board that I'm going to use with a vintage photo. This is not the actual vintage photo itself. A lot of those vintage photos that I have are on that heavy cardstock. So I take the photo to Kinko's, I make a photocopy, and then I glue it down. It's on a much lighter, lighter weight paper and it's much easier to uh, use. Uh, and I'm going to set my wrapped box on top in this fashion. And then I'm going to do some other work on my vintage photo down here below, including I'm going to use a transparency overlay on top of her face. And I also have a, an old, a cool old vintage drawer pull. I think I'm going to put the drawer pull down here on the very bottom of this piece. But anyway, when I get this done, I'm going to work on this today. I'll get it done and I'll take a couple photos of it and I'll include it, include it in my uh, video. Well, let me see. I actually did get uh, this piece finished. I've got all the edges sanded uh, down to uh, age my box a little bit more. I hand sanded these, um, added my cutouts, added a little extra hardware on the uh, faces here. I've got a milk cap, an old vintage milk cap setting inside. So basically the box turned out the way uh, I pretty much planned it from the beginning. And I did also finish this particular box, or this particular piece. Um, <clears throat> also sanded down the edges um, of my uh, glued on cutouts. I did change the backing a little bit. I've got some kind of an old uh, confirmation certificate from Let's see, 1878, uh, and I believe it's in German. I got this at a, a, at a flea market here in Portland, but um, uh, basically this is uh, what I've ended up with. And an old bottle cap inside, drink snappy, makes you happy. So these two pieces are finished and uh, wrapped up, and these are going over to my gallery this afternoon. Thanks for joining me.